In Holy Week, Satan returns to tempt and dissuade us from going to the cross with Christ. The most extreme example of this temptation and dissuasion is Judas Iscariot. Judas has been with Jesus throughout his Galilean ministry and has traveled with Jesus to Jerusalem. He's heard the crowds cry Hosanna and proclaim Jesus as King. He's learned, served, and witnessed everything that Jesus has done. And still in these penultimate days leading to the crucifixion, he is corrupted by the tempter to betray Jesus into the hands of those who want him dead. After Jesus' wilderness temptation, Luke tells us that the devil left until a more opportune time. And from the narrative reintroduction of Satan in today's passage, we can be assured that Holy Week is that more opportune time. As we enter into our Holy Week observance, our biggest temptation is to detach ourselves from the story and the experience of Jesus on the cross, and then to re-engage on Easter morning. We want to skip from shouting hosannas and shouting hallelujahs while ignoring our cries of crucify him. But the resurrection and the coronation of Jesus are meaningless without the cross. May we resist the temptation to abandon Jesus and his gospel this week. And may we be prepared to witness to all that he does for us in his sacrifice.